everybody welcome back to my channel introverts anonymous where i am an introvert and i do prefer to remain anonymous at least for now so right now we're about to do this kitting well not even kidding up because i don't really do that getting started on a canvas which one is this is pumpkin herder i couldn't wait people so let's get into it all right so this is not my regular spot to do all the filming in so bear with me um this is a much smaller surface. Usually I do it downstairs on the dining table, but now I'm gonna just do it right here, okay? Just give me a minute. Here we go. Um, hopefully this video will be helpful to especially newer diamond painters who are trying to, you know, learn how to diamond paint on a much smaller surface because again, this is not as big as my dining table at all, okay? And hopefully you're in the right orientation to see it the right way because I can't figure this camera thing out. Let's go. Okay. So here I do have some binder clips. I also have this pool noodle right here. So let's get into it. And like I said, people, I don't really kit up. Oh, by the way, if you are joining me for the first time, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Tina. I got a little potty mouth and now I'm kind of crazy. So nice to meet you. Hopefully nice to meet me too. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you've been here, give me that thumbs up and let the count, let the comments roll. Is there anything you need to find out if you're new here? Don't forget to ask if you have been here and you still, you know, we all can learn something. If I do something a little bit different than you normally do, then hey, what's up? So, as you can see, this is way bigger than my surface. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, I usually start in the top, what's this, the top right-hand corner right over here. Um, let me see. So, I think... I'm more concerned about it rolling into my lap, so I'm going to roll from the bottom up, okay? So, this is now the bottom. I'm going to slide my pool noodle on here. Let's see if you can see that. And then I'm going to roll it this direction, all right? So, let's get it on here. I do have a slit down the middle of the pool noodle right there. Hopefully, you're in viewing distance so you can see what's going on. So, let me roll this baby up. Okay, so I got the pool noodle on there. I'm just going to roll it towards me, which is being rolled from bottom to top. I kind of have the pool noodle like kind of in the middle of the bottom of the canvas. And I'm just going to roll it with the drill side out. Let's see what we got here. Um, is that enough space to work on? Because I want it to kind of fall down off the edge. Let's see, is that enough to get over here? Um, yeah, that should work. Let me see. Close it down. Yeah, I'll roll it up a tiny bit more. And this is where the binder clips come in. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a binder clip on either end of the canvas to kind of hold it in place. So I'm just going to do this because this is where, I don't know if you can see all the layers are coming together. I'll put that right there and I'll do the same at the opposite end. So this is just a, a little, I don't know if you want to call it a little nook because it really ain't that small. And I'm doing the same thing over here. And I do apologize for the lighting because as I said, this is not my regular spot. Oop, I'm not a lefty. I'm a right hander. Ugh, come on, get up in there. I'll pinch myself, people. Yeah. Oh, I rolled it a tad. Let's see. Mm, I'll roll it up a tiny bit more. Yes, yeah, so I do apologize for the lighting, but, you know, that's the lighting that I have to work with at this time. Okay. Because even if I turn the lights on in the room, it's not going to really give you any more light towards the canvas itself. 
and um, I do hope you know whether a new diamond painter or old diamond painter you know I'm just showing you another way that you can do this you know uh, you don't have to have like a massive space to do diamond painting you know you, you can and I keep saying you know like you know but you know yeah you don't need a massive space to do this you can work on whatever you have uh, I think I need another binder clip to kind of hold this steady give me a second okay and I'm back so yeah Yeah, sorry about that little interruption. That was my son. So this is how it looks from the other end. There we go. Hopefully you can see that in the camera because I'm not standing over the camera, so I can't really tell you. There we go. So like I said, you don't need a really, really large area. And the rest is just hanging off this desk. Um, what is the length of this desk? Here's my old, my old tape measure, baby. Let's see. The little desk that I have is 31.5 inches by uh, 17 and three quarters of an inch. So, you know, decent size, but it's not huge. Okay. And like I said, I don't really kit up. I just jump right into the canvas. There's no right way or wrong way to do diamond painting. You know, everybody has their own way. Some people may do it different from others. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just showing you how I do it. And hopefully that will be helpful to someone. Okay? So, yoo I'm diving in, people. Let's go. Um, I did do a little kit down and chat from the the bakery um diamond painting that I did. I I don't know if I'm gonna release it because yeah, I'm very kind of self-conscious and I feel like I spoke the wrong way or something. Let me see if I have this in the right direction. Ah, I can't see. Okay. I think that's upside down for you guys. So I'm assuming I'm working upside down for you. I do apologize for that. If I am, I don't know how to orient this thing, this thing, thing. So we shall see. There's a little hint about where I'm from. And today we have the famed pumpkin herder. I've been waiting on this kit for over a year. Yes, I am that patient. Yes, I'm that careful with my money. I believe if it's meant to be for me, can't nobody take it. And if it ain't meant for me, for me, ain't shit I can do to get it. So, anywho, we have Miss Pumpkin Herder here. This is by Cheryl Baker. It is, ooh, what is this, 89 by 70 centimeters. It does have 56 colors with dum, 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 three ABs. Yeah. I'm currently working on that kit that I got from um from Ever Moment, and I am not liking that thing. The drills are decent. Let me see if I could give you a little look-see on it. Okay, so that's how far I got. As you can see, I haven't worked on it that much. This is about maybe two, like three to four days worth of work over the course of a month or two. <laughs> well, not quite a month, but yeah. I'm not sure if you can make it out. Let me see if I could bring it up closer to you so you can kind of get a look about what I'm talking about. So, for instance, like this section here, I don't know what the hell that is. Them colors just ain't jiving. Like, it has a lot of these um, dark gray. I'm assuming that should be the stars. So, I'm trying to, I didn't realize till afterward, I'm trying to replace those with um, the ABs, the white ABs. And then we also have, let me peel that back a little bit so you can see it better. Like, I don't know what the hell this mess is up in this damn corner. So it's kind of frustrating frustrating me because it's not looking like nothing that's on the picture. So, and I actually love the image, but it's pissing me off. Anywho, let's get back here. And like I said, I just kind of dive right in. So the very first, crap, anyways, the very first letter I have, let me see if I could turn this revolution up for y'all. Let me push this over to the side a little bit. All right. Hopefully, that makes it a little better for you guys to see. So, like I said, I just kind of dive right in there. Um, from that video that I don't know if I'm going to post where I was kitting down, I do go in and, like, clean these off as well so that it can stick to them. 
Um, I think I'm going to try that little trick where people put the washi tape on it to make it easier to come off because they were a little more difficult to get off this time. I'm assuming it's because it's summertime and because it's so... I live down south, so it is very... What's the word? Humid. So that made that glue just as humid too. So yeah, there's that. All right. So we have the letter O or the number zero, whatever the heck. Um, let's see if we can find it. Oh, where's my pen? Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. So that is 3808. Let me dig in and find 3808, people. Here we go. Crack, crack, and pop. Ooh! 3808. And I do also have this. So sometimes the color on the canvas isn't really, um, how should I say? Uh, the correct color so I use this to try to help me find it faster in the, in the kit because I do not kit up like that uh, I'm looking for 3808 and there we go so it's like a dark turquoise color let's find our turquoise on here from what I can see it looks like it may be this Ooh, I'm close I got 3809 let's see 3808 let's, that's a gray I think this might be it come on all right, and there we go, people. We got 3808. So that is why this is very helpful to me, somebody who does not kit down, because I don't like that crap. I mean, kit up. I don't like that. Um, the other problem with the Ever Moment kit is that they are, um, the bags aren't attached like this, so it's very hard to find the bags. It's like you're looking through a thousand tiny bags and it gets on my damn nerves. So there's that. Okay. Let's get you to the side, Big Mama, and we're going to get Mr. 3808 and get him up in here. Yeah. Um, so if I didn't, if I'm not posting that video and I'm just going to do this one here, I guess I'll, you know, say a little bit about me. I am 40 boom, boom, boom years old. I'm not going to tell you what that boom, boom, boom is. I do have one child. Tina, you starting off bad already, honey. Come on. Whatever. Um, I do have one child. Where did I put the sticker sheet? Here we go. And we're looking for 3808 here. I do have one child. He's 17 years old. I guess I could give a little info about my son since I didn't really talk about that on the other video that I don't know if I'm going to post. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, my son is on the spectrum. Um... I may get a little emotional in this video here. Um, so he is on the spectrum. Um, I just got in touch with his teachers like last week. Um, he no longer has an IEP. For those who don't know, an IEP is an individual education plan. Um, and he did have that for several years, but they did take him off of that IEP a few well, a long time ago so he no longer has an IEP um and I guess it's kind of showing now so his current teachers I guess didn't know that he is on the spectrum and therefore didn't make certain you know what accommodations and all of that my son basically comes off as a normal pain in the ass 17 year old boy so there's that but you do see certain little tendencies come out. Like, for instance, if you want that boy to eat some grapes, they are, they better all be the same size, shape, and color. Otherwise, it ain't. it's like World War III trying to get him to get that. Ugh. And here we go, starting with the trash. I don't know if you can see the little sucked out behind drill there. Um, I'll just use one of these as a trash pot. So, let me a little clean and easier. Come on, baby. Here we go. Yeah, so um, he is on the spectrum, but what the teachers are telling me, um, let me go back. Let me peel that back all the way back to the beginning of, like right before summer went out. Um, I took him to the doctor and I thought that, oh, pardon me for being stupid. You know, this autism diagnosis was no more. That's what, that's just my thoughts because he, you know, hasn't really had any problem with it for a minute. We didn't really talk about that. 
Oh, and also this little trick here is for anybody that does it different than me. Hopefully you'll find it useful. As I stated in the video for beginners, you have, I use this little credit card here, debit card, credit card, gift card, whatever the hell card. And I kind of push it up to the, kind of close to the edge um, to start out my diamond paintings with a straight edge. Uh, I need another one. Where the heck did I put it? Let's see. Hmm. Come on, brain cells. We got to function together forever. Together forever. Sorry. Nerds. Nerd side coming out again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, there's that. And I'm sorry about the angle, guys. Like I said, this is not my usual uh, video area. This is just where I diamond paints most of the time in my room now because I got it set up finally. Yeah, the other side of my bedroom is like the size of a freaking living room and it was just this big old empty space and you know, I found a use for it. So thank God. Yeah. Um. So like I said, back up. I thought that, you know, he had, if you want to call it outgrown that diagnosis. So I did talk with his doctor regarding that and the doctor was like oh no honey this is staying with your child for life i was like shit <laughs> yeah because you know you haven't dealt with any problems for autism in literally years okay this thing is not sticking let's try again nope all right so what i have in here is actually the nano tape but it is not um, sticking to the drills the right way. So we shall try something else at this time. And I don't really have a favorite to put in here. Well, maybe let's try st sticking it in another direction. See if it worked better that way. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. I don't know if you can make that out. Can you see that, people? I'm pushing them down. I'm pushing a little butt down in there. Let's see if it works. Yeah, so I thought that he was past that diagnosis, um, you know, that we had turned the bridge, but let's see. Okay, I could work with that. The most important thing is to start with a straight corner right there. Yeah, so... Like I said, I thought he was past that diagnosis now, or at least be as close to normal that you can't really tell that he had a diagnosis, I guess. But I'm hearing from his teachers now that he's not participating in class at all. Um, he's not doing any schoolwork and all, all of that jazz. So, yeah, I had to talk with my child regarding that. So there is that. And people, yes, I know, do not come at me in the comments. Well, then again, yeah, come at me in the comments because maybe you can help me just like I'm trying to help you, okay? Um, so, I know I ain't got perfect placement. All right? Deal with it. Hopefully, I didn't offend anybody. Back to regular schedule programming. Yeah, so with my son, you know, like I said, he wasn't participating in class and all of that kind of jazz. So, there's that. And oh, also, this is how I work on multiple, um, with multiple drills at the same time, like a little bit of confetti and stuff. I literally just place it in the drill tray and move on to the next one. So the next color is Mr. Man Hat Head Person Thing. And that is number, what is that? Man Hat Head Person. Okay, that is 3371. Shit, I hate that damn drill. Uh, I've yet to work on a diamond art club drill where that drill isn't just bare, basically screwing each other. They're like stuck together. I already know what to look for for that one, so that's not a big deal to me. La, 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 la. This is how I love the 3371. That's 938. 3371 is darker. And here we go. I love the 3371. Yeah. When he was a uh, much younger, like well below the single digits, like 
four, five, six, seven, thereabouts. When he would um, be in therapy, if the therapist wasn't talking about something that he liked, mostly cars, then the whole therapy session would be spent with my son's back to the therapist. Literally every time. The second he said car, okay, we, we talking again, we functional, everything's good. Not talking about car, move along. You are not here, you don't exist, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. Um, when I did speak to one of the teachers and said, you know, he's on the spectrum, so there you go, yada, yada, yada. He's like, oh, well, that makes a lot of sense because he was like, he doesn't know if my son is overwhelmed in class with all the kids and everything because he says that the classroom is kind of small and there are like 33 kids in the class. So in my mind, I'm thinking where I'm from, my class had 40 something kids in there. So I don't know what the problem is, but you know, he was like, maybe that's what it is. He's, um, he is just overwhelmed with the amount of people in the classroom and everything that can be going on in the class as well. So yeah, we will be talking to his doctor regarding stuff like that. I do not want my son on any medication. Let's see. <gasps> people. First, they are not kissing. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. Ooh la la, look at the shine on these mugs here. We need to take a picture of this. Where's my old phone? Damn it, I don't know where it is. I wonder if these are the new drills because I can't even, let me see. I can't even tell from the top. Yes, my eyesight is horrible. Yeah. But as I was saying, that teacher was like, well, well that explains a lot. I was like, okay. So... Yeah, I need to, I don't know. But the thing is, what I'm more worried about with my son right now is actually um, like his future. So I'm sorry if I, if I get a little emotional in this video because I've been kind of thinking about this for a few days. Oh, Lord, you took all of the thing out of my little pen. You are a bad drill. Continuing. Yeah, so... I'm more worried about his future because with my son, if something isn't going the way he thinks it should go, like, for instance, this was probably a year ago or something like that. He was making some scrambled, no, he was making an omelet. My bad. It wasn't scrambled eggs. He was making an omelet and that omelet did not come out the way he thought it would. He threw the pot across the stove and started cussing up a storm. I was like, Bruh, it's not that big of a deal. No matter how the damn omelet look. I mean, I didn't sp speak to my child like that. But you, you get where I is coming from. Um, I try to tell him, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's going to taste the same way. And it took a lot of coercion to get him to actually eat the omelet. Because he's like, I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that. Like, it's okay, Nathan. It's, it's, it's all right, you know? All right. Oh, this one ain't sticking down. You are being bad. Okay, there we go. Um, So this is how I do confetti areas. This isn't really confetti, but this is how I do areas with, you know, several colors on it. I just kind of put it back in the tray so I know which color goes to what. And there goes Mr. Peekaboo Sunshine. Hey. Now I can't see a damn thing neither. Ugh. I'm sorry, people. I have to turn this on. Not really. It ain't helping much. But yeah. So that that's what I'm talking about. Like, for instance, if he's playing a video game and he is that not the number one player of that game at that time and whatever, he'll get really pissed off about that. So just things like that um, would make me worry that when he does go out into the working world where you have to be very nimble and be able to multitask, I don't know how he is going to function. I don't know if what kind of job. Does anyone have a job they can suggest that could work for somebody who, you know, who is like that? Because I'm really worried about my son. I really am. Don't get me wrong. I'm very, very proud of my child. Trust and believe that my son was nonverbal autistic 
The first time he called me mama, he was five. Let that sink in. It come out good? Yep. You like it? You talking to someone? Yeah, I'm on the video. Let me try it. Oh, wow. Let's see. Very good? Mmm. Chef Nathan. And what I the middle do. needs to cook a little bit more. So you need to lower that temperature. I mean, lower the, the burner. And then leave them in there. Put a lid over that frying pan so they get to steam from the inside. Okay? Is it still eatable? It is edible, but you want the middle to cook. You Should want... I put it back in? Yes. Turn down the stove. Don't make a lot of oil be in there because it's going to suck up that oil. You don't want that. You want it to cook. You don't want it to just be oily. So All put right. it back in there. Cover the pot. And the pan, sorry. And let it steam from the inside out. All Can right? I put any, like, toppings on it? No, you don't. All, All right. right. You can go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. Back to regular schedule programming. I'm going to leave that in because that shows you how far my son has come. So we're coming from nonverbal autistic to what we have here. Um, he's trying to make something called festivals from where I'm from. And this is his first try at it. And luckily it came out just perfect. So no throwing no shit, you know, no cussing, no fussing, no nothing. Um, I do think like he probably would want to be possibly like a pastry chef or something like that because he does really love baking and he seems to like, like for now cooking. I guess it's the experimentation in the cooking that he likes and I'm fine with that. So maybe, but I know that being a chef is not an easy job. <laughs> It's very, very fast paced. You have to be very good at multitasking. And that is not his strong suit at all. Um, he is a good one tasker, but in the multitasking aspect of it, he is not good at that at all. And I do know that most jobs, it doesn't matter what damn job you got nowadays, your ass better be good at multitasking or else you ain't going to have a job. You know? So... You know, if he's making just one single thing, then he probably will be will be okay. But let's say he's making an entire meal where you have your meats and you know you have your vegetables and then you have your your regular whatever. So let's say for instance you're making some curry chicken with white rice and you're gonna have some steamed vegetable like cabbage and uh what's that thing? Cabbage with carrots on the side, you know. So you start off with the curry, you know, you got to season up your chicken and all of that kind of stuff. Um, oh, look at You got to season up your chicken. You know, you start putting your chicken in the pan. Then once all the chicken's in the pan, you got to, well, before you do that, you got to start with that cabbage because that cabbage is going to take longer to cook than that curry. So you, you know, you, you cut up your cabbage, you shred up your carrots, you, you start that on that pot there. Then, you know, you get started on the chicken, put that chicken in the pot. The second that chicken hit the pot, then you're going to put your rice on, you know, so you can have everything be ready at, at the same time. For him, if he's just doing the one thing, it's fine. But when you got to combine all of that and learn about the timing and everything, that's where he has a problem with that, you know. So, and no people, I am not a chef. Like I tell people, especially when it comes to men, um... I ain't no chef. I won't burn the house down and I won't give you diarrhea. Does that help? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. But, you know, with my son, and now we're on to K. What is K? K is 3809. So, that's this color here. Yeah. So, what is this one? Let's see. Let's see. Yep, 3809. And this is why I love them when they're on a train line like this, because it's easier to find. Yeah. So, I mean, if anybody has any tips they can share with me, I am more than willing to hear. Because when it has, when it's something that can help my child, I have no shame in anything. I will listen. I will not judge anybody. 
I will take all the help and suggestions I can get. I'm not too good. I'm not too grown. I'm not too smart to hear somebody else's way of doing something. And I guess that applies to all areas of life. But I can be stubborn at times. I mean, I'm a Taurus after all, so there's that. Oh, here we go. Damn it, I hate when it go on mean like that. It made me get mad. Sorry. My crazy side's creeping out again. But, yeah. Mm, like I said, the other ripping chat thing I tried to kind of sort of do, I wasn't good at it at all. So I don't know if I'm going to post that video, but that video kind of explains a little bit more about me. Um, I don't know if anybody want to hear that. <laughs> so we can see. But yeah, so that's a little insight about insight as to what's going on in my brain cells. These are kind of shiny. What you think, guys? You know, and again, I apologize for the lighting. Oh, and again, don't forget to give those thumbs up and, you know, subscribe, like, all of that kind of jazz. Because it does mean a lot to me when I see people actually, you know, like what I'm doing or what I'm saying. Um, like I stated, you know, I am not the nicest person at all. <laughs> it takes a lot to get to. No, I, no I'm not going to say I'm not the nicest person. I am sweet to the people that I allow to, to see my softer side. I don't let a lot of people in because I have been hurt so much in my life and let down by significant others, family, you name it. The only person that will never let me down is my son. You know, that's the only one that will never let me down, doesn't matter what he does. You know what? I'm proud of him because, like I said, started out as nonverbal autistic and now he can't shut up for the life of me, you know. So thank God for that much. But again, I am very, very worried about what's the next step for him. I, I will say it is my fault, some of it, that yes, <laughs> I kind of coddled him and, you know, try to make this world a little better than it actually is for him. So certain things he will not get until he's thrown into it. But I just wanted to make sure my child was happy and make sure I did the best that I could with the resources I had for my son. You know, that that's just me. That I'm, I, Everybody is not the same. So whatever shortcomings he may have in the future, you know, I, I take full responsibility for that because, again, that is my child. I'm mine. It's mine. So, you know, I have to take certain responsibilities there um, for certain outcomes of my son. But I was just doing as much as I could for him to hopefully provide the best outcome in life for my son. I know this video wasn't a lot about diamond painting. I is very sorry, people. But like I said, my brain is somewhere else. Uh, now we're looking for our best friend, Mr. 310. Look like 310 going to be making love all over this damn canvas here. Like a hot stick jump all over. We have one, two, three, four. How much that? One, two, three, four. Four bags are our lovely 310 right here, people. So, yeah. You know, I'm thankful because honestly, I thought that at this age, my son would be. Sorry for all of that noise. At this age, I thought my son would be in a group home because he would be too um, big for me to manage him on my own. When I say big, I mean literally that physically bigger and stronger so I cannot, let's say he's in a tantrum or something like that, I cannot control him. Um, thankfully, you know, he hasn't had like those kind of tantrums in forever. Amen. But, you know, I am still concerned. Come here, 310. There we go, buddy. As usual, Mr. Dot 310. Yeah, but, you know, like I said, if anybody has any suggestions as to what the hell can I do with this child, I greatly appreciate it. Yeah. So, and again, you know, for the, for the newer folk, if y'all still here, I'm glad you joined me. Don't forget to give that 
thumbs up, like, whatever, subscribe. Um, again, I just, I don't tip up. I just get started on the, on the, um, the diamond painting because, oh, look, he don't belong in there. Look at Mr. Pinky Face. Yeah. I don't like kitting up at all. It is not a favorite thing of mine to do. Me no likey at all. I just get straight up in there. So, I hope that this video was helpful to everyone that watched it. Um, I did let y'all see a little bit more of my vulnerable side. You saw a lot of the crazy side, though. I'll say that much. Yeah, you saw a, a big old jump of that thing right there. Um, you know, this was just to show you a different way how to do your diamond paintings. I know my way is definitely not the conventional way. Um, yeah. Most people will kid up. I never kid up. I hate kitting up. Oh, that thing over there for that ever moment diamond painting. Yeah, I had to kit that thing up. And I'm mad because I had to kid up because I want to just jump right in. I hate kidding up. Sorry. My bad. Come on, come on, girl. Come back to come back to this world. Yeah. And also, you know, this kind of showed how to work on a larger diamond painting when you don't really have a lot of space so that you know give you a little insight as to how to do that um you know you don't have to do it my way you can just do it however you choose to but this is just how i go about it oh uh, and to let you know where i got my supplies and stuff from that pool noodle is from dollar tree people and that is a i, I think i cut that pool noodle pool little come again i cut that pool noodle into two pieces i don't remember if they equal half or same size or what but yeah oh, we're gonna get this little gobbly goop off of here the one oh no i forgot about those tweezers the one good thing about the nano tape is that it does not stick to the canvas which i love because all the other putties and stuff that thing get on that canvas ain't no way you're getting that mess off yeah so like I said, you know, just a different way to do your diamond paintings, especially when you're um you have limited space. I've done a diamond painting already. Um, yes, it was a smaller kit, but I've done one already where it was um shoot, what is the name of that thing? Like that little computer desk and you can put on your bed, that little lap desk. I've done one on there already, and I did the same tactic where I used the pool noodle. Um, but Guys, I got to make a run for it because I got to put this dinner on. Hopefully, I am brave enough to actually post this video. Thank you guys for joining me on my channel, Introverts Anonymous. If you're still here, don't forget to, you know, like. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know how you do yours. Please subscribe if you like what you hear. There's a lot more of this craziness in town. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for joining me and... Y'all have a good day. Bye. Uh, uh oh.